The Senate President, Senator David Mark, has advocated capital punishment for terrorists in the country. Senator Mark made the suggestion during a motion on the killings of some students of the Federal Polytechnic Mubi Adamawa State. Senator Mark said in the face of growing insecurity in the country, this is an opportunity to test capital punishment. The Senate holds yet another one-minute silence. May the souls of all our sons and daughters and brothers and sisters who lost their lives in Adama State rest in perfect peace. Amen. This time for victims of the killings in Federal Polytechnic Mubi, Adamawa State, two days ago. One minute silence for victims of senseless killings in Nigeria have become one too many. Where is safe in Nigeria? The barracks are not safe. Military barracks have been attacked. Police barracks have been attacked. These are places that are fortified with people that are trained to defend, yet they've been attacked and killed. For some lawmakers, the incessant mindless killings of Nigerians is a symptom of an absence of political leadership in the country. People who ordinarily should not have been governors found themselves as governors. People who ordinarily should not have been legislators found themselves as legislators. We are a nation under siege, and I would add my voice that we are a nation under peril. And to me, I would say it is high time we declare a vote of no confidence to this government. As expected, when killings such as this occur, everyone looks to security organizations for answers. But the Deputy Senate President says what happened in Mubi is a failure of the country's security system. He said the time has come for Nigerians to revisit the structure of security organizations in the country. So police has moved from what we are doing now to not just decentralized police, but a deregulated police. Hamlets, communities, colleges and institutions, even factories, they now have their own police system. There's no way that the federal government will provide enough police that will, that will serve this country. It's not possible. Senate President David Mark advocated stiffer punishment for those behind the attack. Capital punishment is still in our statute. This is an opportunity for us to test it and use it as a deterrence to others. And that has to be done as fast and as speedy as possible. It is not clear for now those behind the attack at the Polytechnic. Yeah. While some have accused the Boko Haram sect of being responsible for the dastardly act, others say the attack might have been as a result of student union politics in the school. For now, there is a mass exodus of residents of Mubi for fear of what may come next. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.